Sometimes you might want to capture content from a website or another program on your computer. To do this, we're going to use the Windows Toggle button and the Capture button together. Windows Toggle is the Windows icon, which is in the main toolbar. You can see it here. Once activated, it'll take you to your desktop. Now to capture this page that we see here, we need to open the Capture menu, which is located over here on the left in the floating toolbar. It's the camera icon that looks like a camera lens, and when we touch it or click it, it's going to open the camera menu. On the far left, you'll see the full screen capture. Next to that, the freehand capture and the area capture. Full screen capture, which we'll do first, is going to capture the entire page all at once. So when we click it or touch it, it's going to capture the entire desktop, everything that you can see visually and it's gonna paste it into whiteboard. You can see it's now a part of our canvas. If you want to move or manipulate any of your captures because they are pictures, simply activate the select tool in the main toolbar. It's that green arrow icon. Once activated, we can now move around our image. So we can click and drag it down here. Also remember the adorning menu will open which you can see on the left, allowing you to delete the icon. Let's toggle back, and this time we'll do area capture. So same process, we'll open the camera lens, and then this time we'll choose that middle icon, which is area capture. It's got the two plus icons. Your screen will gray out like this, and then all you need to do is touch and drag or click and drag the area that you want to capture. Just like before, it's going to capture this area. So let go and then it's gonna put a picture on your canvas. Now it doesn't go full screen because it was just an area capture. Finally, we're gonna do freehand capture. So back to our toggle, this time we'll do Google Earth here and the freehand capture is the one in between full screen and area. Just like with area capture, it's gonna gray out your screen. However, this time, you can now trace around whatever you want to on your screen. So we'll do a quick trace here. Remember to keep constant contact because once you let go, that's when the capture is going to complete. And there's our image captured and pasted onto our canvas. Just like before, use the select tool to resize your image or use the adorning menu to delete it or make changes.